Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. And in this lovely piece you can see quite a few textures and there's obviously some glitter, a sticker sentiment and the shoal of fish, Zealoth the mermaid. They're all done in layers so it's going to be great fun. A lot of movement in this. Love it. I hope in doing this you can see the detail that goes into it. So we're talking texture and movement. So this is a DL card using multifarious card um, and it highlights Zealoth, the mermaid, and her little friend, the Flutterby. And I like it because it sort of is the only place these two can be together above the ocean because obviously the flutterby can't go beneath the waves and it just seems so very precious and so special that snatched moment above the waves and that's what i wanted to do something precious so this is what we have and you will see some of the new stencils there's ambience and there's also an old stencil pebble and i like to give those to the texture of the waves and of course it's all tied together with white posca or even signo depending on which one you like the look of. I used a bit of both but I find those dots and the extra detail just marries it all together. Why don't you see what you think? Come and have a go. Okay, so this is DL Multifarious card and some masking paper that I've cut to size. And I'm just going to draw around the outside of the card shape so that I know where I'm popping my layers back to. So I'm just going to sketch in my layers and I'm going to use a hill mask to give me a sweeping wave so I need to try and add some movement in this so I've used that for two of the layers and I'm going to stamp on top of the mask this gives me an inkling or a bit of a reminder of where my mermaid is going and that'll help remind me about what my colours need to be doing so I'm cutting out the layers and now I'm going to stick the jigsaw back together again. It's quite therapeutic this. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the colour layer by layer. The first thing I've got is I've taken that masking paper off the top and I've put a moon mask where I want the moon to go and I'm using Sundance elements and I'm just going to build the colour up slowly but obviously this is me sped up because <laughs> I really don't move that fast ever and this is confetti that I'm just going to add a little bit around the edges of that Sundance to give it that sort of orangey peachy glow and again we're just building the colour up Next one we've got violet chalk, just a little touch. And then we're going into the ends with Della Blue. And then for the sun, I'm just going to do a really quick swirl with the ends of that Sundance that I had. Once that ink's dry, I'll pop the masking paper down. If it doesn't want to stick, just weight it down. And I'm using Sundance again of remembering where my son is. So basically I want my son to be behind the mermaid. And I'm using mermaid elements inks at the edge of these layers. And a pebble stencil. Okay, and I'm using Bermuda, using Bermuda Elements inks. And it's amazing how that texture comes together. Love it. Now I've gone onto the bottom layer 
and I'm remembering where my son is. There is a reason why I've gone onto my bottom layer, and you will find it out in time. So I'm now going to stamp Zelith. Now you can see that I've still got two layers on. Now the wise people might have noticed that I'm actually using an acrylic board that's too small for my stamp, but I'm not that worried about it because I'm only going to be stamping half the stamp at a time and it, it gives me more control. So I've stamped the top half of Zelith on the top two layers and I've covered them up again and now I am filling in the gap of the bottom layer. And I'm going to print the bottom half, stamp even the bottom half of my Moy Maid. I'm not worried that part of her tail's off the card. I'm using the ambient stencil because there are parts of it that look shell-like. And I like that. That's what I'm going for. And it also gives us a lot of movement. So I'm using Blue Lagoon, the Elements inks, over the top to give us this shell pattern. So this is the reveal and the final layer. Dun, dun, dun. So as I take that last layer off, you're going to be thinking, oh, hang on a minute, it's all a bit blank. Exactly like that. And so remembering where my son is, I'm putting my son there. But I have to tell you, I am not going to stamp that mermaid's tail, body even. Right, so this is some Bermuda Elements ink. And I've just gone either side of the sun. You know what I mean, the sunlight in the water. And I'm putting some Blue Lagoon just on the top of the sky. Because I'm like that, I just thought, oh, I'm going to put some blue up there now. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> it must have made sense at the time. Anyway, here we go with a, sh a shoal of fish. Not easy to say. And I'm using Warm Breeze. And I'm going to stamp it pointing towards the sun. Because I'm trying to give an impression of movement. And those fish are going to do that for me. They're going to say, look up. Look up. We're going upwards towards the sun. If fish could speak, that's what these would be saying. There we go. Happy days. And I'm now taking all the layers off and you can see what we've got. I'm filling in a gap with, with some black Posca pen and I'm getting whiting. Whiting is now a verb. So I'm using Uniball Signo Broad or, the, or a white Posca pen. And in this case, I've decided to use a bit of both. I'm basically going around some of the patterns. I'm adding dots. I'm adding circles. If you think that we want to be adding movement with, if you like, foam or, you know, sea spray, that's the sort of feeling that we're trying to get. That she's bursting out of that water. So we're adding to what's already there. If you've got a pattern that you like the look of, follow it. That's what I've done on the top layer. I might have added some circles within the circles. And if you think about sea foam, it sits on top of the wave. So that's what we're doing here. And when you move something in water, there's always a bubble that comes up with it. So we're having a couple of those circles. And I'm adding a splash or two. There it says, add a splash or two. I'm already on it, mate. So there we go. And now I'm adding some glitter. And this is Vintage Shimmer, which is just perfect for a mermaid's body. And you know what? 
there wasn't enough the first time round. So I'm going to add some more. So I'm doing the tail, I'm doing the mermaid's little wing or fin, and I've done the body. And I'm adding some more detail to those white circles that I've already done with the Aqua Posca pen. And I'm also detailing her hair because you can follow the lines of the hair on this stamp. So I'm going in with the Aqua Posca pen and also the yellow glittery Posca pen. It's just lovely. And here we go. I'm adding in the little butterfly. And I'm colouring in the stamp with a white and adding some stickles now. And the stickles, I don't know, there's just something about Icicle. It makes all the difference to this. It's like the sunlight really is there and really is catching it. I'm now going to add the sticker sentiment. And I'm going to use the one that says, Together. Precious. And you've done it, matey. You've done it! Hooray! Well, do you know what? I really enjoyed making this card. I loved it. Look at all those textures, and they're all married together by using that Bosca pen and that white roller ball. How much fun is that? I hope you can see the movement in the waves and the precious moment captured just above it. I loved it. I loved it. And the best bit is they're in it together. It's a precious moment. Anyway, thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you for popping along. If you have any comments, please pop them in the post below and I'll do my very best to answer them for you. You take care and thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.